Hey guys, this is Christopher Lloyd. I just want to talk about your hard drives and external hard drives and what you need to do to protect your data and to save it so you never have to have it sent off and have it recovered. What you need to do is organize your whole hard drive and have it set up in certain folders and doc, you know, like you have, have all your documents in one folder, you have your folder, your your pictures in one folder, and like, see, I, I have an, like a profile of everybody that I know, in the family, I guess, you know, in their family, and I put all their pictures in there, underneath their, their profile, and I, same thing with documents, like, like my, where my resume, like, that's, Underneath my private, private, you know, folder and everything. E each thing I have it has a certain place for it. I mean, it's pretty messy since I haven't really, you know, taken the time in the day. Because I used to have a lot more time back in the day to, to go through stuff. So, right now it's kind of a mess. But, I mean, if I really sat down and did it, I would put each thing in its own folder. And after you do that, after you organize your whole hard drive, back that up. Put it somewhere in a filing cabinet or in a safe place to where you don't lose it so if something ever does happen you have a backup so before re the reason why you need a backup because you could do what I didn't do I didn't take the time to back it up and have an extra one on the side because it cost me about eight hundred dollars to have it recovered and you know because the only reason why I wanted to have it recovered because I had a lot of photos videos documents important stuff that I didn't want to lose and I I had a couple choices of where to send it off to and I made a couple different calls I had called Best Buy to find out what they would do to recover my hard drive they said that you know they there's a place over in SIUE campus you know it's a college and they had um uh, have a place over there it's called data center recovery or something like that they would cover it, and their minimum for the for the hard drive would be about four hundred dollars. So I thought I'd take a step back and thought, you know, is this data really that important? So I thought, you know, I've also looked in another place because I I've applied online and I I've done some searching online and I come across Fields Data Recovery that's over in St. Louis, Missouri, and I just. I've kind of known that in the back of my mind, that's another place I could go to. So I thought I'd call them, and they said it would be about $125. $125 is a minimum. So I thought, great, you know. I'm like, what do you need to do? They're like, oh, you know, we'll send you a label, and you'll UPS it over to them, and then they'll go ahead and uh, do their diagnostics. It's a free diagnostics. They'll do look at everything to see if everything's on there, if they can, and if they can't, then, you know, they'll let you know. But they have, you know, they have a certain person that you talk to, you know, like account specialist, you know, that deals with just your your data and, and your problems and everything. So they come back and said that, you know, that they found the data and, and all this, cause something, you know, they, they give you, somebody told me that they would give me 20% off. So I thought I'd go ahead and go with the step and they, since they finally found my data, and it cost me about over eight hundred something dollars. I mean, that's a little more than I ever wanted to spend, but you know, I had to do it. I wanted one of the data, so um, so I went and did it. Then they went ahead, and after they found it, and got it all on a, an extra hard drive. They mail it back to me. I mean, it wasn't the you know the I think I had a like three terabyte hard drive. They sent me a five hundred gigabyte because it's, they said they'll only send you what the da how much data is on your hard drive. So they did that, and uh, they went ahead and gave it to me. Um, I could show you what it looks like. I mean, this is what they sent me back. You know, I mean, it's what I had is a little bit bigger one. You know, look like more like a square box, um, and it was a uh, Western Digital. But, oh, well, you got to do what it takes to recover your data, you know. You don't get a choice in that. So I did get my data back and everything. It was kind of kind of a good thing. So um, if you have any questions or anything of what else to do to back up your data, 
Just make sure you do always back up your data and put it somewhere. If it's on a DVD or CD or whatever, or an ex another external hard drive or a little mini, mini one, you know, similar to this or similar to to this. This is another one that I've got. So, I mean, there's many other ones you can back it up on. So, if you have any questions, give me a call or call me on YouTube or however you want to get a hold of me. My name is Christopher Loyant. Um, I'm here anytime you need help. Uh, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.